the 2023 elections come to mind, who are the candidates you think of? Bala Ahmed Tinubu, Atiku Abubakar, Peter Obi, and perhaps Rabi Okwankoso, isn't it? It might interest you to know that some Nigerians may not be able to mention the other parties in the race, let alone their presidential candidates. Some have tried to remain in the limelight, like Omoyele Shawore of African Action Congress and Adebayo Adewole of the Social Democratic Party. But where are the other presidential candidates? Analysts are asking what has happened to the campaigns of a core party's Imomulen Christopher, Nadio Sita of Action People's Party, Adenuga Uluwafemi of Boot Party, Osakwe Johnson of the National Rescue Movement and Ado Ibrahim Malik of the Young People's Party. And what about the only female candidate among the 18 presidential candidates? If you do not know, Ojei Princess Chichi is the presidential candidate for the Allied People's Movement. Kolawale Abiola, the eldest son of the acclaimed winner of the annulled 1993 presidential election, late MKO Abiola, is hoping to repeat the feat of his father with the People's Redemption Party. Late Sania Bacha's chief security officer, retired Major Al Mustafa Hamza of the Action Alliance, is also in the race for the top job. We also have the flag bearer of the All Progressives Grand Alliance, Professor Chukudi Umeadi. The candidate of the Zenith Labour Party, Dan Iwanyawu, that of Action Democratic Party, Sani Yabagi, and not forgetting the presidential candidate of the African Democratic Congress, Kachuku Dumebi. The question is, how will Nigerians vote for a candidate they have little or no knowledge of? Political analysts say, from all indications, it might be safe to say most of the 2023 presidential candidates are just on the ballot to add former presidential candidate to their titles. And many say they are unnecessarily crowding the ballot paper. Georgina Ndukwezaika, Arise News.